Ken is on a solo trip to Kanazawa, Japan. He rented a house, rented a bicycle, and went to a local market. He cooked and ate local ingredients he bought at the market. He traveled as if living in the place. Through a day in the life of my husband Ken, we will take you through lifestyles and culture of Japan today. Hope you enjoy! Ken is traveling. He had drinks with friends last night. It was too much fun and had too much drinks. Ken is traveling in Kanazawa, Ishikawa Prefecture. It is a popular tourist spot since the bullet train opened, and it's now only one train ride from Tokyo. Castle from the time of samurai. Ken Rokuen Garden, which received three stars in the Michelin Tourist Guide. The Tea House District, Chayagai, used to be crowded with geisha. Many of the tourist places are compactly packed into a small area, making it easy to get around. To see his first day in Kanazawa, there is another video. Go check it out! About last night. After all the laughs, Wade's hangover. Still, he gets hungry as usual. He headed for the breakfast buffet at the hotel. The buffet with all the local ingredients, which sounds super exciting from the morning. A wide variety of dishes using local vegetables are lined up. Misozuke macarons, crab cake, steamed egg custard, rice cake dango are also available after the meal. You can also enjoy Western food. Love buffets. Do you? After choosing everything that attracts his appetite, the full course of breakfast is ready. The breakfast looks like this. Natto. Fermented soybean on rice and miso soup with lots of ingredients. Ken also cares of how his plate looks. He eats in a second, though. After eating two bowls of rice, he is very satisfied. Hangover have gotten better. Well, let's get going with the second day. Ken had decided that the theme of this trip would be to travel as if you were living in Kanazawa. He wanted to feel the goodness of Kanazawa that only people who live in Kanazawa can feel and experience. So, he rented a place where he could actually experience living. Here it is. This purple noren curtain is where you need to find. The place is called Ryu. The entrance is opened with an auto lock. Good old Japanese house is renovated. What is it like inside this whole house? The first thing you see is a wide living room. It's about 21 square meters. The air conditioner is well hidden to keep the aesthetics of the house. A strong fan heater warms up the room, no matter how cold the night is. At the back of the living room is Engawa, a porch. When you open the window, you will see a courtyard with bamboo. The snow-covered lanterns. Beautiful. The warmth of the trees on the ceiling and floor heals Ken who was stressed out. A kitchen is also included. It is compact but has all the necessary equipment. Rice cooker. Toaster. Microwave oven. A fridge which could keep a lot inside. In the cupboard. Pots and tableware. How about drinking Japanese tea with a kyusu teapot? Or would you like to drink some sake with a ochoko glass? And this is a washroom. Spacious washroom made with wood. There is also a washing machine. The bath made of Japanese cypress wood has a relaxing wooden scent. It also has a little garden. Heading to the second floor. Climbing up the small stairs, you will find two Japanese style rooms. Here, you will sleep on futon beddings. All rooms are air conditioned. 
A maximum of six people can stay in the house. The booklet with trip advisor, precautions, and emergency guidance are available in English. He's traveling here, but he wants to stay in this cozy room and not go anywhere. Taking a break. As all Japanese may know, sleeping on this Engawa porch is just too relaxing. Let's go for a walk in their neighborhood. He's going to rent an electric bicycle. Kanazawa is a compact city, so as long as you have a bicycle, you can go to most major tourist places. There are two ways to rent a bike. The first 30 minutes cost 165 yen, and an additional 110 yen for every 30 minutes. There is also an unlimited ride plan for 1,650 yen per day. Just be careful not to sleep on snowy days. Ken came to Nagamachi Bukiyashiki Ato, Old Samurai Residence. This is the area where, where senior samurai had their houses or rather mansions. This is a mansion that has been left as it was 300 years ago. Tatami mats, ceilings, the husuma, sliding doors, all give a sense of prestige and the elegant garden. The garden in the snow is a perfect match. The armor here is a must-see. Going up the stairs. Entering the small entrance, there's a tea ceremony room. You can enjoy the ancient Japanese culture here. Let's head to the next place on a bicycle. Ken came to Omicho Ichiba. Omi Market. This is the center of Kanazawa's Gruna scene for both tourists and locals. The market offers a full lineup of fresh seafood, vegetables, prepared foods, and sweets. Sake is also available. He's going to buy ingredients for his dinner. But first, let's have a lunch here, as there are also takeouts. This is a popular restaurant where people's queue never ends. Here, you can enjoy fresh seafood grilled on sticks. Scallops. Squid. Liver of eel. He desperately wants beer, but since he came by bicycle, he'll hold off for now. Very tasty, but it's not enough for him for sure. Next, korokke. Korokke is made with various ingredients smashed, usually together with potato, covered with breadcrumbs, and being fried. This is shrimp korokke. This one has bunch of shrimp with potato. Because they are all fresh seafood, fried, grilled, or perhaps could be raw, they are delicious in any way. Today's dessert is orange juice. There is an orange juice inside this orange. Drink juice from the orange. After getting satisfied, time for some shopping for dinner. Shopping while communicating is also a unique experience at the market. It seems that he had a satisfying lunch and a satisfying shopping trip. He returned to his home in Kanazawa. Since the theme of the trip is to travel as if you were living, he's going to work in this afternoon. Since he's a writer, he can work from anywhere as long as he has his laptop. First, an online meeting. Different atmosphere from cafe in Tokyo. Feels like it's more efficient than usual. Nahodo. He needs to draft the ideas which came out at the meeting. Why not go out to the city of Kanazawa for the rest of his work? Running along the riverside, he came to a district where all Japanese houses are still left. Chaya District in Kazuemachi. The town still retains the atmosphere of Hanamachi from 300 years ago. 
Hanamachi is an area where Chaya gathers where you can enjoy geisha entertainment. From the bridge, you can see the whole atmosphere of the town. This building. It is a big old Japanese house, but the second floor is a cafe. The first floor is a souvenir shop selling local crafts. Going up to the second floor, he's going to write scripts. Usually, he's famous for his noisy sounds of typing, but the sound is quiet today in response to the calm atmosphere of the city. Well, he finished writing and headed home. The night in Kanazawa has a different atmosphere from the daytime. He's back at home. Preparing dinner. Ken is going to make nabe, a hot pot. Vegetables he bought at the market during the day, and seafood. Cut them up and put them into the pot. Nabe is a classic Japanese winter dish. He wants beer. There is the best way to drink beer. Take a warm bath and sweat a lot. This is the best way to drink beer, in his opinion. Refresh yourself in a bathroom with the scent of hinoki cypress. After taking a hot bath and sweating a lot, Tons of face lotion as usual, and... Beer time, which he waited for so long. He's always the best at drinking beer. In Japan, we set a pot on a table and eat it together. Sushi roll with the hot pot. Now the pot is simmering. It's a little overcooked and doesn't look great, but I'm sure it will taste fine. The seasoning is miso and butter. Japanese miso goes so well with butter. Please give it a try. Today's hot pot is full of seafood with oysters and fishes. Mmm, my. Beer, beer, beer. <sighs> Snow viewing sake is also great, which we call yukimi sake. Traveling as if living in Kanazawa, Ken had a satisfying day. Did you? This was a day in the life of Ken. See you again in the next video.